Hey guys, this is JJ with Express Workshop. This week we're going to whiten and brighten teeth inside of Photoshop. Okay, let's brighten and whiten teeth. Um, this is really a pretty easy method that I use for uh, brightening and whitening teeth, and I do it on a couple adjustment layers. I don't use any kind of crazy masking or anything. I just like to paint directly on a layer mask. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Basically, all I do is go um, and get a couple adjustment layers. I'll do one at a time. Uh, first one I'll do is I'll get a curves adjustment. And what I want to do with this um, adjustment is I just want to go in here and I want to bring the actual lightness up on it. I'm not going to do anything about the yellowing just yet. I'm just going to do um, what I can about bringing the brightness up. Now, you can get too crazy with this. Um, you really want it to be subtle. So at the end, I'll show you before and after. So um, the way that I do this is I go here to this little scrubby and I pick the value that I really want to change. So I'll click on this area right here and I'll click and drag up. Now it's gonna change the entire picture but that's not what I care. I'm just looking at the teeth and looking at the brightness of it. So on this layer mask, I'm gonna choose Control I to invert that mask. So now I'm back to where I started from and I'm going to use my brush tool and I have a black mask so I'm going to paint with white. I'm going to set my flow, oh probably about 50% or so, just somewhere in that range just so that it doesn't um, start to take off this the, the mask too quickly. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint in the area that I have here and again it's it's really subtle and I have control because I have it on an adjustment layer so I can adjust the opacity later so I'm just kind of throwing this in and this young lady uh, I did a senior portrait of her here and she really didn't need a lot of of retouching um, she was one of my favorite um, portraits to do. Anyway, so now I've done that and I've taken care of the actual brightness. Now I might go back and adjust this at the end, but I'll turn this eyeball off and on so you can see where we've come from. I just brought the color, actually the lightness up. All right. Now I still have some yellowing in here that I'd like to take care of. So to do that, I go back to another adjustment layer and I'll use the hue saturation adjustment layer. And all I want to do here again is look at the yellow on here and I want to get that value down. So I'm going to just pull the saturation down. I don't want to go too far because if you get too far you start getting a little bit of graying in there and you don't want that. You might want to go to the lightness here and just maybe pull that a little bit to the right. And again, it's going to affect the entire picture. I don't care because I'm going to use control I and invert my mask. And just like I did before, I'm going to paint with white on a black mask and just on those areas where I had that yellowing, I'll go in there and just take that down. Now it's really subtle and we want to make sure that it's subtle because you don't want these big crazy white uh, artificial looking teeth. You want to make sure that the teeth still retain a little of the yellowing or just a little bit of color on there. It's going to look unnatural if you don't. Okay, so I've gone in there, I've put in my hue saturation layer and I've also done my curves. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a before and after. So this is the after and this is the before. So you can see that I've gone in and I've taken out both the yellowing and I've enhanced the brightness of the teeth in two simple adjustment layers. 
All right, so that is our quick tutorial. And um, like I always say, make sure you subscribe to my channel to get my new videos every week. And be sure to hit the like button. And I will see you next week. Thanks a lot.